What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another COD Mobile video. So I just heard a few hours ago that the Season 2 update for COD Mobile has officially been released for the Garena players. So for us in the global part and even probably in the Chinese or even in the Korean versions, uh, we still have yet to get this update. But luckily they do have patch notes for the Garena version, which should carry over to the global. So before we actually get into this, uh, just remember I am hosting a giveaway for the Battle Pass of Season 2 once it gets released around Thursday or Friday. So be be just be sure to stay tuned, make sure to subscribe to this channel for that and for, you know, just more COD Mobile content in the future. So anyways, let's actually get into this because it's actually quite interesting. So here it is, it says increased MSMC OWC Marksman Barrel Attachment Vertical Recoil Control. So now if you want to use that OWC Marksman Barrel, you are going to have a little bit more control with your recoil so it won't be so jumpy as it was before. So the next one is something that I really, really do like. It says increase S36, UL736, RPD, and N4 LMG YKM combat stock attachment ADS time reduction. So that means these weapons are going to be a lot more faster than they were before. So thank God, I think it actually needed this type of change because the the LMGs were very underused. So the next one is decrease the HBR A3's OWC marksman barrel attachment negative effects. So that was one of the biggest problems I probably had with the HBR. I felt like it just made the gun a little bit too heavy. The movement was just really, really slow. So I'm glad that they actually made a change to that. So the next one is increased DLQ 33 damage to 90 and grants a higher wall penetrating damage. So this was something that I was kind of on the fence with, but I do kind of understand, you know, if you want to shoot someone through a wall, you have a higher chance to, but it doesn't really fix the quick scoping problem. So I'm kind of happy, and at the same time, it's like, really? So yeah, uh, just watch out for that. So the next one is going to be the DRH, the no stock attachment ADS time reduction to 12%, uh, decreased DRH no stock attachment hit flinch to 50%, slightly decreased the ICR's no stock attachment and YKM combat stock attachment accuracy. So it's going to be a little bit less accurate when you use those attachments. For the ASM-10, they slightly increased the no-stock attachment hit flinch, increased Arctic-50 wand penetrating damage, and MIP stopping power reload attachment damage ratio to legs. Now, a wall penetrating leg shot will not be lethal. So now, if you are using FMJ, I believe it's not really going to actually kill them if you shoot them in the leg. So it's going to take a little bit more skill to use when you are using the stopping power. The capacity of blocking fire bullets for... Arctic 50 is decreased from 20 to 15, and its maximum capacity is increased from 40 to 30. ADS time increased from 12% to 30%, and shot interval from 40 to 50%. So I'm assuming that makes it slower, I'm not really sure. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to look into that. Uh, decrease the explosion range of the War Machine. Um, I actually did enjoy the War Machine, uh, but at the same time it was annoying if it was used against you. So I guess it's alright that they nerfed the range, so we're going to have to like further test it once this updates out in global. So the next one is decrease the damage reduction of war machine operator. So continuing on, we also have decreased gravity spike damage range. So yeah, the gravity spike was definitely one, probably the most annoying operator to deal with because there's really no counter to it. So I'm glad that the range is going to be decreased because there are some times where people actually get killed at a higher elevation when they're not really supposed to. So I'm hoping that really like increased the chances of surviving that so slightly decreased the damage of annihilator uh dealt to stealth chopper xs1 goliath VTOL shield turret and transform shield soldiers equipped with dead silence perk no longer hear the footsteps of themselves and the audible range of running has been decreased uh players are now able to jump while moving alongside a wall Optimize and speed adjustments when moving alongside a wall obstacle. Optimize the server tick rate. Optimize player's hitbox when switching among standing, crouching, and prostrating. Increased characters' FPS, enemy movements, and actions are more precise and smooth. Optimize sound effects based on different scenes so that players can locate their enemies more accurately. Okay, thank god, man. Because there are times where, like... When Dead Signs was not, like, you know, really functional within these past seasons, like, there would be so many footsteps around me, and I really couldn't understand where people were coming from. So it just make it, it kind of, like, overloaded your brain so you didn't know what to do. So, yeah, I'm glad that they fixed that issue. 
So let's continue on. It also fixed an issue that players might get stuck in window frames when camp when climbing through. Fixed an issue when soldiers are stuck for a while after crossing a shortcut to laundry sidewalk of raid. Fixed an issue of wrong collisions in the takeoff scene. Fixed an issue of wrong collisions in the Tunisia scene. Okay, so I think this should be everything that has been changed within this version. So yeah, there is quite a bit of few things, um, some weapon adjustments that I feel like we didn't need, but I'm glad that we have them anyways, if, if it means keeping the game more balanced. So yeah, so there you have it guys. If you want to pause the video to have a closer look at these patch notes, of course you guys are more than welcome to. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure to subscribe for some more COD Mobile content. And remember, there is a giveaway that's going to happen on Thursday or Friday, whenever this Battle Pass releases. Don't worry, I'll have a time frame when, like, when we get closer. So make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Twitter just in case you do win a gift card so I can message you personally so no one could take your card away from you. So anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.